Why does wool itch? Well, I'm inspired to make this because I was watching a video the other day and there was this lady on there and she was modeling a pure wool skirt. And I'm sitting here going, okay, I've worn wool sweaters before and I can tell you what, they itched like crazy. I can't even imagine what it would be like to wear a wool skirt. My gosh. Uh, now, if anybody had ever watched the uh, Highlander movies, you know that the Scottish guys used to wear kilts. A lot of those kilts were actually made of wool. So I can just about imagine what kind of suffering they went through. And then to think that these women are also wearing the wool skirts, I'm like, uh, yeah, that just about that video just about made me cringe. But I have come to learn that not all wool is the same. Okay, now you have to think, wool is a fiber. Okay, it's just like nylon, rayon, um, cotton. All of these fabrics are fiber. Okay, of some kind. All right, some are synthetic, some are natural. Cotton and wool are natural, uh, rayon and nylon are not. Okay. Now, these fibers are to be thought of as little tubes. Okay. It, it, it'd be like having a drinking straw, only teeny tiny, and you have like thousands of these bunched together. Okay. That's what the, that's what we're talking about in fibers. Now, if the diameter of each fiber is very very tiny then you won't feel it so bad. But if it's very, very big, okay, and we're talking about millimeters here. We're not even talking about centimeters or, you know, even meters. We're talking about pure millimeters. If the fibers have a large diameter, you're going to feel them and it's going to feel very uncomfortable. But if they have a tiny diameter, you won't feel them so much, okay? Your, your finer fabrics like your rayon, your nylon, and your cotton, those are finer fabrics and you won't feel as much. Wool, if it's done right, can be just as thin as cotton, rayon, and nylon. However, if it's done wrong, boy, you're going to feel like you, you're wearing a porcupine. A porcupine. Okay? And I'll tell you what, the last thing you want to feel is uh, a porcupine on your skin. And if you think it's bad having it on your arms, can you imagine what it'd be like around your legs? Ooh. Especially those ladies out there. I can just about imagine. You have to shave your legs, and then all of a sudden you have to have this fabric on top of it. My gosh, you probably would... We, ooh. I wouldn't even want... That'd be, that'd be a horrible thought. And it's not like we guys, when we are wearing wool sweaters, if we don't like our wool sweaters, we can just take them off. Okay, as long as we got a shirt underneath, we can just take those suckers off. You can't exactly pull down a wool skirt. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. I suppose you could, but it'd be very embarrassing. So basically, that's why wool itches. And when you're when you're thinking about buying anything wool for guys, it'd be sweaters for gals. It could even be skirts. Uh, if you're thinking about buying anything wool, find the wool that has the finer threads on them. Uh, that way you don't feel it as much, okay? Uh, your, your finer threaded wool will feel a lot nicer on your skin than the thicker kind. Thicker kind may be warmer, but I'll tell you what, it'll, it'll be very uncomfortable. Okay, so just a little thought there, a little FYI. There you go, folks. I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.